welcome to another interview series with me. In today's episode, I'm going to interview Nahal Yusufian. She's the Chief People Experience Officer at MEC, and I'm going to ask her questions that matter to you. So let's start with today's episode. Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC, and welcome to my channel. My goal is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the industry. By the end of each interview, you will be filled with knowledge that will help you elevate your job search. If you are a new person watching for the first time, don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be alert whenever I'm posting a new video. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome to another interview series with me. It's a privilege to interview today Nahal Yusufian. She's the Chief People Experience Officer at MEC and she started her career as a primary school teacher and she is now in charge of enabling an organization to become the best it can be for its colleagues, customers and communities it serves. Welcome Nahal, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you so much for thank having me. Thank you for me. joining me. So if you can tell us more about yourself and how you ended up here working at MEC. Well, I, uh, as, as it mentions, I graduated from University of British Columbia to be a teacher and went to the UK and uh, was a teacher for about five years uh, and then uh, decided to take uh, a traveling trip to the US, um, ended up staying there and starting my career in HR. Um, it was with a startup uh, in uh, LA called mm -hmm. Fresh and Easy and the parent company was Tesco. So I've been uh, in HR um, since 2003 uh, and then moved to Fresh and Easy in 2006 and then uh, most recently uh, came, came back home mm -hmm. uh, with Mac. So I'm really yeah. excited to be here. And in your case, do you feel that the teacher in you helped you guide <laughs> in the HR field? <laughs> most definitely. I think um, I often joke, um, half heart a joke, uh, but it's <clears throat> basically bigger five-year-olds really is, <laughs> is the way. It's very transferable skill sets yeah. uh, that I acquired teaching. So. And in your career, do you can share any failures <clears throat> that you learn that can people learn while searching for a job? You know, we, we get uh, very difficult times and we learn from our failures. So what can you share in that point? Of my own personal? Yes. <clears throat> I think uh, one of them is um, when you get to the point where you want to change jobs, there is a really thin line between mm -hmm. desperate to get out of the current situation yes. and then find another one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I realized the universe has this magical way of making <laughs> sure that doesn't happen. So you start to get this feeling that I really want to change jobs and that I'm going to get what I need in another job. And then that sort of feeling of desperation manifests itself through the rejections that you end up yeah. getting. And so I learned quite a lot around never apply when you're in a desperate, desperate mind frame. Yeah, yeah which is, um, I think, universally known, but yeah. we often fall into that trap. Yeah, sometimes we're desperate, so I need a job <laughs> yeah. just to pay the bills, right? Exactly. But again, sometimes it doesn't fit well also with your values. Or even desperate <clears throat> because you think the grass is greener somewhere else because yes. you've reached a cutoff point yeah. where instead of looking for a job, maybe you just need a vacation. Yeah, <laughs> those are great tips. Thank you, Nahal, for the introduction <laughs> and sharing your experience in your career and for the audience watching or listening uh, do you have any experiences in terms of your career search or any experiences in your failures while searching please uh, keep it, uh, leave it in the comment section and tune in tomorrow for another question with Nahal